Roubaix is regarded as one of the most brutal one-day races in the world. But with so many different types of bikes out there, have you ever wondered if there's a faster option than your usual road bike? And could this year's race be won on a gravel bike? Myself and Alex each have three bikes with us. Our usual road bikes. Our gravel bikes. Technically mine's a cyclocross bike, but same thing. And some mountain bikes that we might have stolen from GMBN. Don't tell them. Um, no, actually don't tell don't, them. Don't, seriously. No. This one's actually Doddy's. This is Blake's. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Doddy. No. Imagine. We're here to conduct a simple but fun experiment to see which type of bike is fastest over the rough cobbles. But also to see how the speed balances out once we hit that smooth tarmac. Oh yeah, come on, let's go get let's started. Go. Oh, bumpy. Now, full disclosure early on in this video, we're not actually going to ride every different type of bike the entire 259 kilometres of the men's race. Or the 115 kilometres of the women's. That would just be ridiculous. But we are going to ride the proportionate amount of cobbles and road that the race goes on. And we're going to start at the Arenberg Forest. Ooh. <laughs> so the test route for myself to replicate the men's race will need to be split 20% for cobbles and 80% road. So using the Arenberg Forest for our cobbled sector, which is 2.4 kilometers in length, I'm then gonna be riding 9.6 kilometers on road after that. And for the women's race, 25% cobbles and 75% road. I'll be doing 2.4 kilometers on the cobbles and 7.2 kilometers on the road. To monitor our efforts, we're going to be using the Wahoo Powerlink pedals to make sure our efforts are consistent throughout. I'm going to be trying to hold 200 watts. And I'm going to be trying to ride at 250 watts. So the idea behind this is that we can isolate as many variables as possible to those that are only apparent from the change of bikes. First up, mountain bikes, which in theory should offer the smoothest and therefore fastest option along the rough cobbles. We've got suspension, geometry to suit, and you will probably notice that we've switched out the big chunky boy tires for some gravel bike ones because, well, it's just common sense. They're a bit more suited to what we're riding on today. Suspension, this is fun. Right, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Three, go. two, See ya. one. Oh, we're off. <laughs> Going. Can't do that. Can't do that slow. So the mountain bike definitely fell really good on the cobbles, but now we're on the road. Is it going to be as good? I've already locked the suspension fork out, and uh, the bike's feeling nice, rolling quite fast. Presumably a lot of that is helped by the tyres, to be honest. Um, so far, so good. Yeah, let's crack on. A gravel bike next. And these are kind of a halfway point between a mountain bike and a road bike. They haven't got any suspension, but they are designed to be suitable for a real mix of terrain. So let's see how they fare. Ready, Alex? Yep. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> the difference between the gravel bike and the mountain bike for me it's pretty significant. The mountain bike much, much smoother across the cobbled sections. Although I guess the, uh, the proof will be in the pudding, so to speak. And then finally, we got the road bike with no suspension and skinny tires. Although it is by far the lightest and the most aerodynamic bike here today. Man, are you ready? Final run. Oh, I'm a little bit tired, but let's do it. My hands actually really hurt. Yeah, my whole body hurts. This is okay. kind of horrible. Um, Toi, du, un. Ah! Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my God. 
okay so the road bike on the cobbles that was tough going it was getting to the point where i just needed to stop pedaling but now i'm on the smooth tarmac it's time to put this one to good use Man on, we're sat here, it's getting dark, it's the end of the day. Surprisingly, it has taken most of this day to shoot this video, do all these tests and collect all that data. There was a lot of data, so should we go back to GCI Megabase and then analyse it back there? It, to be fair, it'll be dark soon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's um, go. Alex? Yeah? Oh. oh, thank God for that. You never um, guess what just happened. Nah, what? Uh, pff, you're not even going to believe it. Um, well, we got it super quick, didn't we? And in that short period of time, I've managed to collate all of our results from our experiment, put them into a handy little chart, broken down the splits of the times that we spent on the cobbles and on the roads, and then what else I've done? I multiplied up our test time so that we've got an overall race distance of Perry Bay for the men's and the women's race. You're pretty good, aren't you? Yeah, Fair do you want to start first with your results? Yes, I'll start first with my results. So, for the first run, I went on the mountain bike and I did a time of 21.29. Yep. So the cobble section took me 5 minutes 58 and the road section took me 15 minutes 31. Then onto the gravel bike and I was slightly slower, 4 seconds slower. And I did 21.33, the cobble section took me a little bit longer, 6 minutes 14 and the road section took me 15 minutes and 19 seconds, so a little bit yeah. quicker on the road. Um, and then onto the road bike, and yeah. I, I was actually slowest no way. on the road bike. Oh. So the road, road bike took me 22 minutes and 9 seconds. The cobble sector took me the longest, 7 minutes 31. Wow. But I was quicker on the road bike on the road section, obviously. And yeah. that took me 14 minutes 38. So quickest was a mountain bike, then very closely behind gravel bike. And the road bike was slower. So I've got in front of me, that's quite a surprise actually. I've got in front of yeah. me the the overall times if we multiply your your results up for the duration of the women's Perry Bay. And that would mean that the mountain the order doesn't change obviously, mm. but the gravel bike would be one minute four seconds slower than the mountain bike. Yeah. And you'd be ten minutes forty seconds slower on your road bike. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? That's but a bit I crazy. have to say, on the on the mountain bike going over the cobbles yep. it literally it just glided over i felt so comfortable composed just put the power down i wasn't stressing but then on the road bike bounced around everywhere um, and the mountain bike didn't even feel that bad on the road either because i locked yeah. the suspension the rear suspension oh out, yeah i forget about that got aero whacked it in the biggest gear and off i went but yes yeah, so it was surprising results but Okay. It, it did feel the best. Well, the results don't lie, do they? They don't. Um, shall I go through my experiment now? Go on then. Right, so mounting my first, I've got a time of 26 minutes, 12 seconds. It's slower time than yours because I rode for a further distance. Yeah. Cobbles broke down to 6 minutes 2. Road was 20 minutes, 10 seconds. On the gravel bike, overall time of 24.54. The cobbles were 5 minutes, 53. So only... Well, not a huge difference between yeah. that and the mountain bike. The road section was 19 minutes and one second. And then on the road bike, I've got an overall time of 24 minutes and 50 seconds. So only, what, four seconds quicker than the gravel bike overall? And then that breaks down onto the cobbles of six minutes 51. And the road was 17 minutes 59 seconds. So overall, yeah, so my results replicate what i would probably have estimated but if we multiply those up for the duration of the men's Paris bay route the road bike is fastest the gravel bike one minute 38 slower so comparable to to the mountain bike to gravel for you but then for me the mountain bike would be 36 minutes slower wow um i think the biggest difference for that is that the proportion of the road to cobbles on the men's route there's a lot more road so therefore yeah. you you're losing your time a lot different there Maybe my calling in life, in life is being a mountain biker. That's it. Keep it going. Come on. Keep going. Keep I going. Can't. Go on, man. Come on, man. Do it. Come on. Come on. I can't. Maybe I've missed out here. Maybe, Maybe I was born it is. to be on a mountain bike. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised by my results. I am surprised mostly by yours. Yeah. Something that we do need to take into account is that if we were to ride at the speed similar to what the pros would ride at, I think it would fall into favour of the road bikes. It would. More. One, I probably wouldn't have enough gears on the motorbike yeah. to get around, and my aerodynamics on the on the motorbike 
yeah, not 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 going to go very well for me, is it? No, but there's lots lots of things to consider, isn't there? There are lots of things to consider. Something else that I should take into account is on our road bikes we had sort of normal size tires. So you had 25s, yeah. I had 28s, whereas the pros nowadays we're seeing them use like 30 mil tires. So that's going to again fall into the favour of the road bike. And also, we need to talk about the weather, don't we? Yes. We, we rode in the dry. Very, what, last luckily. year's last year's race was soaking wet, wasn't yeah. it? So in that instance, I think that the weather conditions, if you were riding on a mountain bike and rode, it could be a little bit quicker still in the wet on those bikes. Yeah. On the mountain bike, mountain bike on the gravel, sorry. Um, so overall, I guess we should answer our first question we set out. Could you win Parry Bay on a gravel bike? For me, I think the answer is no. No, I don't think you can either. No, I don't no. think you could. But it's an interesting experiment. It turns out that if you were going to ride the route, you'd probably ride your mountain bike, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah, not that you can enter Paris Bay Pro Race on a mountain bike, but you could do the sporty. Yeah, sporty yeah. would be good. And if I was doing something like that, I'd probably go on the gravel bike. Yeah. Even though the road bike's faster, I think I enjoy it a lot more. Yeah, I was mm. going to say that. The don't really enjoy riding cobbles on a road bike. It's hell. Mountain bike, quite enjoyed it. So. There you have, that's the end of our experiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. And why not let us know in the comments section down below what type of bike you would choose to ride if you were going to do Paris Bay Sporty, for example. Right, see you later. Bye.